Wait a second. You do this to every guy? No. In 2009, while shooting a TV movie with Eddie Cibrian, Northern Lights, out on DVD, their on screen romance continued once the cameras stopped. Problem was, both she and Eddie were married at the time, and when the cheating scandal broke, Leanne's weight began dropping. She turned to exercise to really get over the emotional problems that she was going through. It did take a toll on my health for a while, but working out is actually um, such a stress relief for me. Her workouts continued as her wedding with Eddie drew closer. Her weight dropped to what some called a dangerously skinny low, triggered speculation that the singer might be suffering from an eating disorder. The media can tear you apart and lies and lies and lie after lie after lie. <laughs> it takes its toll. Right after she married Eddie Cibrian, they went on their honeymoon to Mexico and she tweeted photos of her, you know, looking very skeleton like in a bikini. Through it all, Leanne maintained that there wasn't a problem, saying, quote, for someone like me who is healthy, who works hard for my body, it's very frustrating. I work out and take care of myself and not in an over obsessive way. Leanne's weight controversy played out in tabloids and mostly online, but Oprah Winfrey's weight battle happened in front of a nationwide audience while building a media empire. It's an ongoing battle. It's the only thing that drives me crazy is, is my weight. It's the only thing. Oprah Winfrey is a perfect example of, you know, having it all, but you still have have to, you know, have a public battle with your weight. The Oprah potato a day diet. No matter what her body size, Oprah has always exuded confidence. Starting in 1986, the Oprah Winfrey Show put weight issues front and center. Each one of them has lost at least 100 pounds. But it's her own body image and its many changes which streamed into viewers' homes every day of the week. And the feedback could be rough. When I know I have these thighs, I see them every day, and they kind of live with me, they walk around with me. But when someone else says it to you, it like reminds you that they know too. So yeah, that's the only thing that shakes me. So I I'm on another diet. The yo-yo dieting continued, and by 1992, Oprah had enough. At her heaviest, Oprah weighed in at 237 pounds in 1992. Oprah dedicated herself to reshaping her body through old-fashioned diet and exercise. I have lost, as of this morning, as of this morning, 67 pounds. The momentous show signaled a new era for Oprah, but her struggle with weight was far from over. I got right back on the weight loss roller coaster. In all, I've gained 17 pounds of the 67 pounds I lost last year. But back when she had her show, she was on a crazy schedule. There wasn't much time for her to take care of herself. Though Oprah was worth hundreds of millions of dollars, her personal battle is something to which every woman can relate. All the fame and the success doesn't mean anything if you can't fit into your clothes. It means the fat one. It means you didn't win. You didn't win. In recent years, Oprah has shied away from the weight loss programs and target weights. Now she's around 200 pounds, and now she's really at a place where she's really comfortable, and she's eating healthy, she's exercising, and she's trying to do the best that she can with her healthy lifestyle. I know that I'm not alone, and I know that the battle has an ending. Oprah, regardless of her size, is a true success story worthy of emulating. For Kirstie Alley.